If, like us, you don't have a lot of space for growing fruit, you're probably tempted to put them into pots and see how they do. And that's exactly what we've done here. And I'm just gonna walk through what we have planted and how everything's doing. So we've got the classic strawberries, which we know are absolutely fine planted in a pot. Although that being said, I've planted these a bit too close together. Um, really take this middle one out and that's more close to the spacing that you should give strawberries because they need the airflow and they need the light to stop mildew and to let those fruits ripen. So they'll be fine this year because they're quite small. I only just planted them. But next year, I think I'll probably have to take these middle strawberries out, but uh, they'll be absolutely fine. Keep them fed, keep them watered, uh, and they'll be basking in the sun most of the day here, out the front, so they'll be fine. Here we've got a yosterberry. Um, now a yosterberry is a cross between a gooseberry and a blackcurrant bush. I got this one last year. It's always been in a pot, this pot. Um, maybe medium size there and uh, last year we didn't get any fruit but this year you can see that we have got these buds coming on it here so we are going to get some fruit on it this year not a lot it's still a pretty young bush but just to show that it is doing well um, don't do anything special with it keep it watered keep it out the front here so it can bake in the sun I cut it back last late autumn I would say just to try and get it to have a denser habit low down um, feed it once a week in, in in the flowering period and that's about all the care that we've given it and it's doing absolutely fine that being said I will give it a bigger pot this year because um, they do get quite big and the bigger they get the more fruit you're going to get so I think I've been a bit stingy with the size of the pot so that's something that I'll do this year is just put it in a bigger pot to give it more room over here we've got an apple tree now that was in a pot up until about a week ago it is planted now just because we had the space to plant it and i was getting a bit of a weird pot orchard going on so i thought i'll put this one in the ground but this is the second maybe third year we've had this tree and it hasn't fruited yet i don't blame that on the fact that it was in a pot though um i blame that on the fact that it was just a young tree so you can see that it's doing absolutely fine it's got some spring leaves and buds coming through looking really healthy um pot wise it was in a really big pot I'll show you the size of the pot that we had it in again no special care needed on it we just kept it watered gave it a liquid feed probably once once a week in the height of summer um, and it's been doing fine we even trimmed it back a little bit last year as well just again I don't want it to get too tall it is a dwarf variety this one um, so I'd rather it sort of grew low and wide rather than than, than tall and spindly um, so that is a uh, the apple tree that we had dwarf apple tree over here we've got an olive now I've had this for oh, five maybe six years it's always been in this pot um, you know it's, it's quite a big pot it's got a top dressing of these these stones to just try and keep the, the moisture in a little bit and give it a bit more of a Mediterranean vibe it's it's not looking at its best granted but it is still spring it's meant to be an evergreen but it does drop some of its leaves um, never drops all of them always retains some of the leaves and new ones come through every year so you can see here that you know we've got all of these these coming through so um, it does it does kind of go through periods of looking a bit sickly and then it revives itself fruit wise we've never had fruit from this that being said I know that olive trees do best when they've got a fellow um, to help with cross-pollination so I might look at getting another olive tree to just see if we can get it to fruit but they are pretty difficult to get going in the UK and get fruit. Um, but I'll certainly do all I can. It's very pretty though. And then finally over here, we've got a cherry tree. Um, again, in a pot, quite a large pot. I've top dressed it with some uh, manure. I gave it a, a feed about two weeks ago as well. And you can see that it's doing absolutely fine. So it's got, all of these nice buds coming um, and they should bear flowers and, and then some, some cherries. Uh, we got this one last year. Again, no fruits last year, young tree, but this might be the first time that we get some, some flowers in there for some cherries on it. So again, keep it watered, keep it fed, especially during the flowering season. And at the moment, I can say that it's doing absolutely fine. Um, And I did say that I would show you the pot that we had the apple tree and this is the pot you can see that it's 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 pretty big um, and when I took the apple tree out it, it really hadn't utilized the whole pot with its roots in fact I would say it's only used about 
a third, maybe half at a push. So that apple tree would have been absolutely fine in there for a, a good few years. Um, it still had plenty of room in there. Um, so I didn't have to plant it. It would have been fine in that pot, but I just wanted to show you what we had it in for a bit of context. And that's what we've got.